Wolf Hunger, written by Asa Maria Bradley, is the third installment in the Wolf Protectors series and weaves together elements of romance, Norse mythology, and action-packed suspense. The story centers on the character Max Taurus, a werewolf and member of the Special Investigator Unit with unique psychic abilities, and Dr. Lana Turquist, a wolf biologist with secrets of her own. When a series of wolf killings puts Lana's life in danger, Max is assigned to protect her. He approaches this assignment with a professional mindset, but he cannot ignore the instant attraction he feels towards Lana. Nevertheless, his duty and mission are clear, to safeguard her and to uncover who is behind the wolf killings which threaten to expose the existence of werewolves to humans, potentially leading to catastrophic consequences. As Max and Lana work closely together, Lana is shocked to discover that werewolves are in fact real and struggles with the realization that her entire life's work has unknowingly revolved around observing their shifter counterparts. While dealing with this revelation, she also has to contend with the undeniable chemistry she feels towards Max. Lana, wrestling with her newfound knowledge, must come to terms with her feelings toward Max while grappling with the revelation that her research subjects are not what they appear to be. As danger escalates and the threats become more personal, it's revealed that Lana is not merely a biologist caught in the crossfire, but she possesses a rare power that could change the balance in the war between the werewolves and the ancient beings that want to control them. Her rare ability to harbor a dragon spirit makes her a target for dragon shifters who covet her power to ensure their own supremacy over other supernatural creatures. As the pair navigates this maelstrom of supernatural politics, they participate in a desperate race against time to stop the killings and uncover a conspiracy that goes deeper than they had initially suspected. Throughout the novel, the theme of identity and self-acceptance is prominent, particularly for Lana, as she comes to terms with her own supernatural identity. Her connection with Max provides her with a sense of belonging in the new world that has been unveiled to her, helping her to accept and embrace her dragon heritage. Max, on the other hand, has his own personal struggles to overcome. He battles internal demons from his past, as well as the looming threat of losing control over his wolf side. Max's dilemma of reconciling his duty with his growing emotional attachment to Lana complicates matters. While his loyalties to his pack and an understanding of his position within the supernatural hierarchy play a crucial role in the progression of the plot. The novel also delves into the political intrigues of the paranormal world. As the leader of his pack, Max has to navigate the strategic alliances and power plays that come with his position. The supernatural community is on the brink of exposure, which would incite panic and possible backlash from the human population. The central conflict involves not only the personal relationship between Lana and Max, but also the larger issue of maintaining the delicate veil of secrecy that keeps the supernatural world hidden. The action intensifies as the two protagonists close in on the forces behind the unrest. They face off against dragon shifters intent on capturing Lana for her abilities. Major confrontations unfold, with Max and Lana relying on their combined strengths. Lana's knowledge and emerging dragon powers, and Max's werewolf capabilities and protective instincts to overcome their adversaries. As they navigate skirmishes and battles, the connection between them deepens from mutual respect and attraction into a profound, resilient bond that underpins their joint efforts to protect and preserve the clandestine world of supernatural beings. As they confront their enemies and uncover the breadth of the scheme to exploit Lana's powers, they find themselves supported by Max's werewolf pack and other allies within the supernatural community. These allies play a vital role in the story, providing support, guidance, and camaraderie, highlighting the importance of unity and camaraderie when facing existential threats. As the narrative progresses towards its climax, Max and Lana's relationship evolves, with Max coming to terms with his role as both Lana's protector and partner. Each has to face their fears and insecurities to make their budding relationship work amidst the chaos surrounding them. Understanding and trust become pivotal as they coordinate their efforts to thwart the plans of those who would seek to manipulate Lana's power for their own ends. 
in an epic showdown that combines magical prowess and brute force, Lana and Max confront the mastermind behind the conspiracy, a powerful dragon shifter with grand ambitions. The battle that ensails tests both Lana's ability to control her newfound power and Max's mental and physical limits as a werewolf. It is in this moment of crisis that Lana and Max prove their worth to each other and to the world they are striving to protect. The resolution of the story ties together the various plot threads. The wolf killings are halted, the individuals responsible are brought to justice, and the threat to Lana, Max, and the secrecy of the supernatural community is neutralized. In the aftermath, both Lana and Max emerge as key figures within their respective communities, with a deeper understanding of each other and the complex world they inhabit. Wolf Hunger concludes on a note of tentative peace within the supernatural realm, with the promise of further adventures as other threats loom on the horizon. Max and Lana's relationship stands as a testament to the power of love and unity in a world fraught with hidden dangers and ancient enmities. Through their journey, the novel explores the consequences of power, the strength of love, and the unending battle to protect those who cannot protect themselves, all set against the rich tapestry of a world where myth and reality intertwine. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.